Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is epic guys. Oh my gosh, I'm literally shook and shaking right now recording this video because I cannot believe that I'm actually filming a new launch for Fenty. So today I'm gonna be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation as well as the Hydrating Primer. So I'm sure you guys have already seen these on Fenty Beauty's Instagram page. And the minute I saw this, I was so shook because I don't know if you guys remember this, but I did review the matte foundation a while back. And I said that I loved how perfect of a match it was. I really loved the natural finish, but I just wish Fenty created a hydrating foundation for us people who have dry skin so that I could like keep it. That was the only reason why I didn't keep it is because it was too matte for my dry texture type of skin. You know what I mean? So Fenty Beauty, listen to us. Rihanna heard our prayers, guys, because now we have a hydrating foundation and a hydrating primer so we can finally be a part of the Fenty Beauty gang, okay, if you have dry skin. These both launch on the Fenty website and at Sephora on August 15th. So I really want to say thank you so much to Fenty for sending over these products for me to try. So this video is not sponsored by them guys, so I'm giving you my 100% honesty like I did in the other video. You guys know I don't play with how honest I am with you guys because you guys are my family and I want to make sure you spend your coin on something that you love too, you know what I mean? So first we're going to go in with the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And you guys already know how I personally feel about primers. I think they're so important to the longevity and the overall wear of your foundation. So if you're one of those people who you know think that primers don't do much, I honestly disagree because I really think it's really important. Like I feel like the primer is the first step. Of course you should do your moisturizer and everything first, but like the primer makes a huge difference as well when you add that on top of your moisturizer. But that's just my personal opinion. So first thoughts so far, as you guys can see when I was applying it, it definitely did give that dewiness. It definitely did feel like it hydrated my skin. But what I am noticing is that my skin absorbed it really fast like it just seeped in there very well and it's no longer super you know overly glowy like some other primers are and I think this has to do with Fenty's whole approach to having a natural finish the one thing I can notice is I kind of feel like it smoothed out this area right here and this is where I get the most texture which I tell you guys all the time in all my videos so I'm really curious to see how it applies with the foundation over it and if it still keeps that blur feeling that I'm kind of getting right now so I'm gonna dive in with the foundation now and I'm in the shade 370. I'm just gonna take like half a pump on each side and just start to blend it out with the Fenty sponge. To get my match for this foundation, I just went to Sephora and I reshade matched myself to the matte foundation, if you know what I mean. There's this fly that keeps flying around and I really hope it's not buzzing around my video this whole time. If so, I'm so sorry guys. A little longer than a few minutes later. And that's how I was able to find the shade in this one because the shades actually correspond. So if you already have the matte foundation and you just are looking for like the dewy hydrating version of that and you want to try this one out, that shade will still work with this foundation. Just a heads up. All right guys, so just my thoughts so far while I'm blending it out. It's definitely a very natural finish, like they said, but you still see dewiness shining through. I don't know if you guys can tell. So if you like a very natural glow in your foundation, you're going to really like this. As for texture right here, guys, I still don't feel like it's clinging onto my texture. You guys remember how the matte one just stuck on there and just made it look like a really bad dry patch? It was just, it was just a mess. I definitely don't get that with this one. The big test is going to be, guys, when I set it like when I do my concealer and I set it to see if it's really still hydrating if it's not creating any texture and stuff like that so I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup and give you guys my final thoughts all right guys so I finished applying the rest of my makeup and this is the final result so as you guys can see honestly when I applied my bronzer and my highlight and everything like that I kind of feel like it just came even more to life but my biggest thing that I was telling you guys about was if I set it with a powder how crazy is it going to look is it gonna bring out texture? Is it gonna look smooth? And remember how I was telling you guys I felt like it was kind of blurring out my texture? Well, it actually did that. Like, this is the first time in a while, guys. 
like right over here on my foundation has looked so smooth but yeah overall i'm so happy with it like this right here is literally my main problem zone so as long as my foundation doesn't become a dry patch there i'm literally so happy so yeah this is how it turned out guys i love it how do i feel about it for dry skin this is definitely a 10 out of 10 i wasn't expecting anything less because the one thing i love about fenty as a brand is that they always come through when it comes to like expectations they don't just launch products for no reason they really listen to their followers and their supporters they take the time to test it out and create amazing products so if you guys want to figure out if these two products right here are worth your money worth your investment 100 percent worth the purchase it's amazing like Ariana killed it again. What's new? We didn't expect less. For my previous review, the only reason why I didn't like the foundation was because it's meant for more normal to oily skin. It was a matte foundation. So it was inevitable, if that makes sense. So it's not like I didn't like the product. I just didn't like how it worked for me on my skin. You know what I mean? Love this, guys. If you are dry skin, get this, okay? It's medium to full coverage. Right now, I kind of builded it up to be a full coverage because I kind of wanted my face to be beat beat today. And you can even make it very light in my opinion too you, if you just use a small amount and it can look like a really good tinted moisturizer type of vibe if you're looking for that too so you can definitely sheer it out and build it up so make sure you guys check it out and mark your calendars because it launches on august the 15th on the fenty website and also at sephora so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i already know it's going to sell really fast i'm just saying if you're a dry skin girl prepare yourself secure your coins hover over your laptop but make sure you do your backup research and head into to your local Sephora and get shade matched to the matte foundation so you can get the right shade for this foundation okay so don't try to like figure it out online because I already know it's gonna sell out in like 2.5 seconds because first of all it's Fenty and second of all it's Riri so let's not play ourselves okay <laughs> prepare yourself guys like I even want to try to snag my winter shade all I need now is just a Fenty hydrating concealer and I'll be set Fenty can just take over my face game. Fenty, I need a hydrating concealer and I'll be the happiest person in the world. That's all I have to say. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review. And also I already know people are going to be asking for Eid looks and I'm gonna try my best to get you guys some inspo ASAP. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jasmine. I upload every Sunday. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified whenever I upload. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it because that really helps my channel and quite frankly it kind of makes my day and like always i'll see you guys in my next video